Hey everyone, welcome back to 10 Minutes Travel. Today we're exploring the vibrant city of Cork, Ireland. Whether you're planning a visit or just dreaming of it, I've got the ultimate list of the eight best things to do in this charming city. So let's dive right in. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button if you wanna see more content like this. Your support means a lot and helps me keep making great videos for you. Number eight, St. Patrick's Street. Originally envisioned in the early 18th century by affluent merchants eager to separate their fellow citizens from their money, St. Patrick's Street has remained Cork's primary shopping destination ever since. Just a short walk from the English market and known locally as Pana, this wide curving street is home to many excellent shops and is considered one of the top shopping spots in Ireland with the upscale department store Brown Thomas being especially popular. Shopping is just one aspect though. The people of Cork are known for their sociable nature, and on pleasant days, visitors can often see groups of friends and family gathering, chatting, and enjoying each other's company. The street's diverse architectural styles reflect changes over the past two centuries. St. Patrick's Bridge, which dates back to 1786 and has been rebuilt several times, connects to this bustling thoroughfare. Number seven, Shandon Bells, St. Anne's Church. On the north side of the city, across the River Lee, St. Anne's Church is renowned for its iconic Shandon Bells Tower. The church still features its original 18th century bells, which have become a must-see attraction in Cork. St. Anne's Tower stands out on the city's skyline with its unique facade, red sandstone on the north and east sides and white ashlar limestone on the south and west. Visitors have the opportunity to ring the bells from the first floor, explore the inner workings of the clocks, see the bells up close, and take in stunning 360-degree views of Cork City and its surroundings from the balcony. Although it requires climbing 132 steps, the effort is well rewarded. Nearby in O'Connell Square, the Cork Butter Museum traces the rich history of Irish butter making. Located in the old Cork Butter Market, the museum features a fascinating collection of vintage butter wrappers among its highlights. Number six, Ballycotton Cliff Walk. The charming fishing village of Ballycotton, located about a 40 minute drive from Cork, is a popular retreat known for its beaches and seafood restaurants. It's also well loved for the stunning Ballycotton Cliff Walk. This impressive five-mile trail runs along the clifftop from Ballycotton Village to Ballyandrine Beach, offering breathtaking views throughout the journey. The trail, which takes about five hours to complete, winds through rolling meadows of the East Cork countryside with cliffs and beaches below. Number five, Cobe, a 25-minute drive southeast of Cork City leads to the historic port town of Cobe, formerly known as Queenstown. The town is renowned as the last port of call for the ill-fated Titanic during its maiden voyage in 1912. Today, it remains a popular docking spot for cruise liners from around the globe. In the 1800s and 1900s, millions of Irish emigrants departed from Cobe, many never to return. The town is dominated by St. Coleman's Cathedral, which was built in 1868 visitors can enjoy a 60-minute Titanic trail walking tour, as well as attractions like the Titanic Experience, the Cobe Museum, and the Queenstown Story Heritage Center. Number four, University College Cork, commonly known as UCC, was established in the 1840s as one of the Queen's Colleges, along with Galway and Belfast. The college was built near the site of St. Finbar's Monastery at Gill Abbey Rock, honoring Cork's patron saint. UCC's picturesque campus features stunning limestone buildings in the main quadrangle, alongside beautiful mature grounds like the President's Garden and Lower Grounds, which include the touching story of the little oak tree. Visitors can also enjoy scenic riverside walks along the River Lee. The campus was designed by Thomas Dean and Benjamin Woodward in the Tudor Gothic or Victorian Gothic style. The clock in the tower installed by Cork's own James Mangan is one of several notable clocks he contributed to the city. Number three, 
Mizen Head. A trip to Mizen Head takes you to Ireland's southernmost point, where the scenery along the wild Atlantic Way is at its most breathtaking. The signal station at Mizen was originally built to safeguard sailors navigating Ireland's coast, and visitors can delve into the area's rich history at the Maritime Museum. However, the true highlight of Mizen is the natural beauty outside. After leaving the visitor center, you'll follow a well-worn path to the station and cross the Mizenhead Bridge. With towering cliffs, the winds whistle, and waves crashing below, this spot offers one of the most unforgettable experiences in Cork for good reason. Number two, Fota Wildlife Park. Just a few kilometers east of Cork City, the 70-acre wildlife park allows animals to roam as freely as possible in their natural habitats, giving visitors the chance to observe and interact with them. You might find yourself sharing a picnic table with ring-tailed lemurs, though feeding them is discouraged, while giraffes roam freely in the central enclosure. Unlike typical safari parks, Fota is not a drive-through experience. Be prepared for a long walk around the park and to fully enjoy your visit, it's recommended to set aside at least half a day. Number one, Cork City Jail Heritage Center, close to St. Anne's, is another notable Cork City attraction. The historic and atmospheric city jail, which operated from 1824 until 1923. Initially, the prison held both male and female inmates who had committed crimes within the city. In 1878, it was converted into an all-female prison, a status it maintained until 1922-1923, when men opposed to the Anglo-Irish Treaty were imprisoned there. The complex fell into disrepair afterward, but was restored and reopened to the public as a tourist attraction in 1993. For a unique and memorable experience, consider booking one of the attraction's private evening tours. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Your support means a lot and helps me keep making great videos for you.